North Bradley, just your average village, isn't it? You've got a pub, a church, a farm, but just one tiny little problem. Where's the respect? Right, so I'm uh, Ben Midgley, I'm the pastor of the Baptist Church here, and uh, as you can see behind us, if you want to just have a look, we've been uh, working out here building a, a massive bonfire for bonfire night, but you know, you can't do this sort of stuff on your own, we rely completely on the goodwill and cooperation of people in the church, people outside the church, uh, and it's about community, and you just can't have community if you don't have respect, it's about building up bonds of mutual respect and trust and then you can work together and do stuff so we're, you know we're really thankful that something of this scale could happen in really in a relatively short period of time when people turn up and it's fantastic when they do. Hi my name's Brian and I'm uh, a villager of North Bradley and also a member of North Bradley Baptist Church. Hi Matthew Hales, um, I live in North Bradley, I've recently become one of the governors of the school and very passionate about the community. Um, I think, as mentioned probably before, respect has changed altogether. Um, there's a lot of respect has got to be there. I think the, the nature of respect has changed. Too many people have seen gangster respect, you know, respect by firepower, respect by punishment, respect by beating the top dog. Um, not for who you are, for older people, for respect of the community, it has gone a bit. Um, so, I think it needs to be taught again, it needs to be earned and taught, what is respect, what does it mean to the generation now, um, that's a big problem. Yeah, yes I do think that respect has changed in our rural community of North Bradley. Uh, many years ago we all respected the local policeman and he virtually disappeared, but the um, Police force at Trowbridge do seem to be putting somebody around the village again. Let's hope we get to know him. Well, I can't say to, to, to change for the better. No. No, I can't. Not now. It's for the worst, I think. I think, you know, everybody I speak to from the older generation say it was a clip around the ear, everybody knew their place, everybody respected their elders. That world has gone. Um, and I think we are working on, against the tide pretty much a lot of the time, building a new kind of respect for each other. I mean, people do respect each other. But there's a lot of mistrust as well, and I think people want to stay within their own four walls a lot. So to coax people out, and once people are out and doing things, it's great actually. And uh, yeah, I, I think there's the beginnings of something new, but it won't look like the way things were. I'm just saying you can't live in the past, the past was the past, where uh, everybody did have a lot of respect for each other, especially the young ones for the elders and everything else like that. But I think as Ben has, has actually said, the, the situation of a different style of respect or a difference of respect for each other, but it's a lot more insular. People don't really want to get out and, uh, you know, sort of meet with each other or, or have that definitive area of where they're looking as a community. So the whole part of respect has changed and it's become a lot more insular. I now ask, will North Valley be a part of Trowbridge in the future? Will we hopefully never will be and that's the parish council's aim we fought to keep the last remaining field open between the two lots of houses but unfortunately when you look at our trading estate at the white horse business park they don't even use north bradley in their address anymore it's just trowbridge so as trowbridge comes out and meets the village one day i suppose the village will disappear which is a shame I now ask, how do they feel when they live in the village? I think, I think the, the big change is that before, if you turn up 
wife say, I'm a pastor at North Valley Baptist Church, there was instant respect, right? Whereas now, it doesn't actually mean that much. You've got to prove what you're worth by what you do now and earn people's respect. Whereas there was a time when I think people took a lot, if you were older, people just said you're older, therefore you're worthy of respect. Whereas now, it, it, you've got to actually show by the way you live your life and earn respect from people again. If you can do that, there's a new level of respect coming about. But the old order seems to have just, you know, just because you're in business, just because you drive a big car, just because you've got a hat, just because you've got a, a title. Yeah, I mean, it counts for something, but it just, I don't think it's the way it used to be. I think that, that those times are gone. Um, part of the community. It's very much people uh, interact with each other more. People are more sociable. Um, when you walk down the street, you say good morning, people reciprocate, say good morning back. Whereas in Trowbridge, you're more of an individual. You know, people tend not to look after each other more. Um, safe. You know, um, there's not a lot of crime in the North Bradley area. We have small incidences, but not as much as you hear everywhere else. Well, there's a lack of community spirit. When we came here years ago, all the old folk over the road knew they could rely on us and if they didn't pull the curtains back in the morning, they know someone would notice and we'd go over and see if they were ill and possibly go to the chemist for them. But everyone's very busy nowadays. Men and women have to work because they've got to pay the mortgage, I suppose. Oh, oh my goodness, I should think I am. <laughs> When I was a little girl, we lived down the road. <laughs> and there was a shop there, Mr. D down there. And I used to go up the top and they used to get an old lady a cup of tea. Well, we, we still like, my wife and I still like living in North Bradley and uh, we still feel safe here. But uh, sadly, Weekend nights in Trowbridge, they seem to have an awful lot of fights, which is the same, and windows get broken, so that's why we don't want to be part of Trowbridge, is, uh, quite honestly, we don't want that sort of thing here. I'm now going to ask, do they miss a post office and shop around the village? Yeah, I definitely miss having the post office in the village. I don't think you'd miss the shops so much because obviously we've got the major shops not too far away to pop into town. It's relatively easy. But um, things like the post office, it was handy just to pop down to post letters. Um, plus the older people tended to go down there as well. We do miss that quite greatly. Well, it's changed up. You know, there used to be five shops in Bradley. There was one down the door beneath, Mr. Jones had it and Miss Paradise. And then you go round the church lane, you would stand here. He had the post office and shop. And then you come out and you go down onto the Tefford Road and Lightwood's had his shop there. We're quite lucky with pubs here, the rising sun's got a to let sign up, which is bad news. We enjoyed having the post office here for years, but as we couldn't make a living out of it, we, we erected a brand new one at the village hall, which we thought was a great idea, but some people never came near us. If you can change one thing in North Badley, what would it be? Um, the only thing that would really change is the amount of traffic that goes through, because we tend to get the large HGVs on the smaller roads, at the moment, it feels quite safe for the children to wander around and walk about to walk to school, but when you get the big trucks pass, it's a little bit frightening sometimes for them. So that's about the only thing I would change. Well, we don't want the trading estate to get bigger because the council said it should come right over to the houses. Well, that's stupid. It really is daft because when you walk around the trading estate, great buildings are completely empty. Well, if they can't even let modern buildings that they've built over there, what on earth do you want to make it bigger for? There's still a few houses being built in North Bradley because people don't seem to have time for gardens, so they're putting houses in gardens, but they're, they're all quite often very nice quality. We'd like to keep in the village limits because, well, it's a village and that's the way we want to stay. From what I've learned in this documentary, it seems people don't rely on old respect anymore. 
and now it's all about the new type of respect, which is whatever you make it. And to add to that conclusion, what will the future hold for the attitude of young people and how will it be used in later life?